Hello, Professor Ludwig and my classmates. I am Haimanti Mitra. I will be presenting web services, its technology, its architecture, and its benefits. One of the recent trends in software applications development is the use of web services. Software professionals commonly refer to web services as the next evolution of the web. The term web services describes a standardized way of integrating web applications by using open standards over an internet protocol backbone. It is independent of any specific hardware and software and thus supports a heterogeneous environment. Web services allows communication in XML, which follows standard guidelines and protocols. It is not language specific. Unlike other web-based technologies, web services allows applications not written in an identical programming language to easily communicate with each other and eliminates the time-consuming task of custom coding. Thus, a Java application can speak with Perl and a Windows application can talk with a Unix application. Web service server code and web client server code can be written in any programming language like Java, Perl, PHP, .NET, C Sharp. Web service client is called the consumer that calls the web service over the internet WAN or LAN and gets the data or executes the business logic. SOAP is the acronym for Simple Object Access Protocol. A SOAP client sends request to the service for data to execute a business logic using a SOAP message. SOAP messages are exchanged between the client and the web service. The client request is bundled into a SOAP message sent to the web service over the Internet, WAN or LAN. Web service sends the business logic or the requested data back to the client using the SOAP message. XML is the acronym for Extensible Markup Language. XML is used to form the SOAP message. WSDL or Web Services Description Language is an XML formatted language used by UDDI. It describes the capabilities of web services as a collection of communication endpoints with the ability of exchanging messages. UDDI or Universal Description Discovery and Integration is a distributed directory on the web and it is similar to yellow or white pages of a telephone's directory. It allows businesses to discover each other on the web by listing themselves on the internet. This figure shows how web services is implemented. The provider deploys a specific web service in a web server container like Tomcat WebLogic. The provider then publishes the WSDL of the web service to a UDDI directory. WSDL is an XML file that embeds not only a description of available services but also information such as port, port type and security aspects for communication between the consumer and the provider of the web service.
A service consumer issues one or more queries to the directory to locate a particular service and to get its WSDL. The client code can then be generated by the consumer by simply using the WSDL. The web service can then be accessed by the consumer using the endpoint URL. A consumer requested SOAP message can include security information as per WS security standards like user ID and password. Once the request message is received, the provider opens the requested SOAP message envelope and authenticates the user in Microsoft Active Directory or LDAP, that is Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. It verifies whether the user has the privilege to use the service. Providing access to the web service can go beyond authentication. A provider may choose to authorize the user in LDAP for using the particular service based on role-based authorization. WSDL shows the following information. The endpoint URL is used by the client to access the service. Data elements needed to send as input parameters to the web service are shown in Customer Info Request section. Data elements that the service has to send back to the client are shown in Customer Info Response. Messages at the bottom part of the diagram show SOAP XML messages exchanged between the consumer, that is the request message, and the provider, that is the response message. This figure shows the structure of the SOAP message that is exchanged between the consumer and the provider. A SOAP message is encoded as an XML document. It has an envelope element which contains an optional header and a mandatory body. The fault element in the body is used for reporting errors. Every SOAP message has the SOAP envelope, that is the root element. It has two child elements, an optional header and a mandatory body. The SOAP header is an optional sub-element of the SOAP envelope. It passes application-related information for processing by SOAP nodes along the message path. The SOAP body is a mandatory sub-element of the SOAP envelope. It contains information for the ultimate recipient of the message. The SOAP fault is a sub-element of the SOAP body. The SOAP fault is used for reporting errors. Except the fault element in the body of the SOAP message, XML elements in the header and the body are defined by the applications that use them. The benefits provided by web services, application and data integration. Web services is not tied to any specific operating system, hardware or programming language. It thus supports a heterogeneous environment. The technology used by web services allows different applications to easily communicate with each other. Web Services uses vendor, platform, and language-independent XML technologies and HTTP as a means of information and message transport. This results in an inherent interoperability that enables any application written in any format to communicate with any other application. The client only needs the WSDL definition to effectively exchange data with the service. Neither the client nor the service provider needs to know how the other is implemented or the type of format 
used to store the underlying data of the other. Web services allows organizations to integrate different applications and data formats with relative ease. Code reuse. Code reuse is a primary advantage resulting from the inherent interoperability and flexibility provided by web services. One service can be used by a number of clients, all of which use the operations provided to accomplish business objectives. Instead of having to create a custom service for each unique requirement, Parts of a service can be simply reused as necessary. Cost savings, creating highly customized applications for integrating data is expensive. Web services enables applications to communicate with each other by using open standards. This eliminates the need for creating highly customized applications for data integration and thus saves integration costs. The cost of web services is low because it is based on open standards and the associated learning curve is smaller than that of proprietary web-based solutions. Web services needs either a small amount of or no additional technology investment because it takes advantage of ubiquitous protocols and the web infrastructure that already exists in every organization. The common tools to develop the services and client codes are freely available. The most common development tools are JDeveloper and Eclipse. The tools for testing the services and the client codes are also freely available. The most common testing tools are Eclipse and SOAP UI. Web services are needed to be deployed under J2EE container of web server. The most common web servers are Oracle WebLogic, Tomcat 6, Apache that are available at no cost. These two websites provided me information on web services. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me and thank you for listening.